Hey you right guys, Trish Munch is Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 4 of 13 Reasons Why Season 3. I've just woke up, had my shower so I look like a drowned rat and I'm just going to jump straight into the show because yeah, like I say, I want to try and aim to get three episodes up today. We'll wait and see, but I want to try and get it up. I just want to try and avoid all spoilers with the show as well and I know after a few days the spoilers for 13 Reasons Why are probably going to start leaking onto like Twitter and all that stuff. Uh, probably the YouTube comments as well, so hopefully we'll power through super quick. Uh, and yeah, I you know you know how I felt about the first three episodes. I think they've been very slow story wise, with some really really good scenes kind of dotted throughout the the episodes. Um, but I just feel like we need a solid, strong start to finish episode. Uh, but I just don't think we're gonna get that because I find the narration, the constant narration, very uh, very annoying. Some people really like a character as going from YouTube comments. They do really like a character and they like a narration. Um, but then there are some people who really don't like the character and find her narration uh, overbearing and annoying and I think I'd definitely side with that. So yeah, episode 4 though guys, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like if you're new, remember to subscribe if you want uncut reactions to this episode of 30 Reasons Why and the rest that will be coming out, then the link to the Patreon page will be down below which will help support the channel. Also, a, few channel, a couple of channels down below that I'm going to link, um, first one's a podcast channel and the second one is going to be the new gaming channel. Which I mentioned in episode three, uh, where highlights from Twitch will be going on. So yeah, keep a look out for that, and let's go. What's a piece of evidence this time? Sabaganda. What we got? What we got? A gun. <laughs> Just a straight up gun. Nice. Oh fuck! Great way to start my day. Like? This character. I'm actually asked about wanting Bryce dead, and actually going through with it, are two very different things. Yes, I know that. Thank you for narrating and telling me for no reason. I'm going to continue to call out this shitty narration every time it happens. I'm sorry, but it's going to happen. It takes a certain kind of person. Mm -hmm. but who? Okay, so again, just going to say it. That added nothing. I'm sorry. Are we flower people? Then the news bulletin went out. You know the one I mean. They are particularly high school. Cool. Again, I don't know. What? Yeah, the Evergreen County Register reported it this morning. Tyler didn't do it. I know Tyler has the gun, but again, it's just trying to fool the audience to be like, oh, Tyler has a gun. The gun. It's fucked up, right? This is just going to... I feel like every episode is like, they'll suspect someone is, and they'll just be clearing their name, and then they're like, okay, who's next that we can blame? One student at Liberty who'd had it the worst. And they've been through the most. And that is Tyler Down. Yep, we know. Um, but it's not Tyler, so... I mean, is this going to be a point of point? Yeah, it's So where is it? Oh. It's... Hidden. Why are you not telling him? Place. Why do you want to get rid of it today? I'm done with it. I mean, it does look a bit shady that Bryce is dead and now he wants to get rid of a gun that he's been hiding. <laughs> Justin have any interests in common? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, sports? Porn? Maybe? No? Cool. We also have robots. We've been worrying about him for quite some time. Hey. Oh, again, so... Didn't I... <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't. I'm how... I am... Maybe five minutes in. And this morning we find out... And... All the narration has been pointless so far. Are we surprised? No. You don't give a... Why did we think Tyler had a gun? Well, because it wouldn't have been the first time. <laughs> you remember spring <sighs> The false alarm. Oh. I think I'd make a gun. Exactly the same way. You're a madman. Absolute mad lad. It was wrong. When a plane loses pressure and there's no oxygen, you've got to put on your own mask first. Is yours on? Sure. Right. How can I help you with yours? I mean, poetry in the making, but... Nothing happened back then, but you couldn't help but wonder, what if Tyler had killed anyway? What if he killed Bryce? But he didn't kill Bryce, so this is pointless. We're not going to find out who killed Bryce till the finale, so maybe episode 12. I don't mean to try and snoop in your bag, sorry about that. 
Mission failed. We'll get him next time. And let's face it, it was easy to think those things about Tyler. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Because he had a gun. Tyler was weird. <laughs> All those characteristics they say have. Oh. Lack of oh, skills, I want to die. Fascination with death. Let's be honest, it was easy to think this about bloody Tyler. Why? Well, because Tyler was weird. It's like fucking great. That's my over exaggerated British voice that doesn't actually end up being British because I feel like the character's being overly British. You wouldn't know it just bloody hell, Harry! But deep down, Tyler had the ingredients of that killer cocktail. Yeah, we know, because he had an M4 at the end of Season 2, so we already know this. He was about to do a school shooting at the end of Season 2, and the narration is telling us, Tyler has it in him to kill someone. Thanks. By far the most interesting character, though, is Tyler. I've, I've said that in Episode 2 and 3, but I'm going to say it again. We could, you know, watch him together. Just hang here. We could have babysit Tyler together, that's cute. I know. Just miss you. Yeah, well you also said you look so beautiful right now when you were having sex with her, Alex. You can still hang out. Not cool. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. Not during that. Please. Seeing a movie. With two cops. What movie? What's it about? Well if he hadn't seen it yet, he wouldn't know, would he? This is so dumb. We're just waiting for Tyler to pull out a gun or something. Oh no, he pulled out. Fuck, whatever that is. A gum and groggy glam. Something like that. We all felt responsible. I never used one. Clay needed to believe that Tyler could be saved. Otherwise, in a way, Clay pulled that trigger too. <laughs> yeah, oh okay, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I mean, he's stuck behind glass in a Wait, is he on that rear window? Is it called Rear Window? I think it's Rear Window, yeah. I always hate that, you know when you're trying to sell a film to someone, but... So I'll listen to what Tyler says first. GG. My, my one, you know when you're trying to sell a film to someone and they're like, oh yeah, what did you like about it then? Um, and then you just kind of lost for words, like, what's the purpose of the film? And you're just like, I just like the film, please shut up. <laughs> Why did you like the film so much? Tyler! I was about to say, why wouldn't he just go to the bathroom, but I guess the end of season two maybe traumatize him from bathrooms in school. So. Came out here to pee. Why bring your bag? Uh, just people steal shit. So. This is dumb. I feel like we're just like trying to make him out to be shady. Was Tyler lying to us or just being Tyler? Well, okay, thanks I for that. Get it from him. Bryce, Tyler has a gun. Look, I know, but he didn't. Tyler have has a gun. Did he? Heading for Justin. Oh, uh, so it's Justin's day to babysit. Oh, Zach, just you keep your mouth shut. Sure. Just let you roam the hall. Why would you tell him? Because he was. I, I don't know why. You're just a bit stupid, aren't you, Zach? Yeah, we were all sat around the table looking at him like, like proper shit himself. Like, I'm not surprised he caught on to you. Oh, like that. Buddha, buddha, buddha. Kind of cool. Again, show don't tell as well. Going back to the other narration she just said. Oh, uh, Tyler was on to us. Not, yeah, Tyler. Yeah, Tyler was on to us. Why don't we just see that? Why are you telling us this? I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to keep calling it out. I'm going to keep doing it. And then you can make a compilation video of every time Joe called out the yeah. shitty narration in Thirteen Reasons Why season three. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cool. Can't wait. Sounds it, mate, from the enthusiasm in your voice. Oh, coppers. Yeah, don't look too shaded. I know, cause. Yeah, he got it in season two when he beat the shit. Was it him who beat the shit out of someone? Oh, go in. 
again, I'm going to continue to say this, but Tyler is by far, his scenes are just the most interesting. Easily. Like the actor is just sick. We helped Tyler escape the darkness. Oh. Or was there never going to be an escape? Shut up with the narration. I'm trying to enjoy the scene. The first good scene of the episode. That's sad, isn't it? It's like the first good scene in the episode and we're halfway through it. Bowen? I see you with friends. Probably feels like they're only hanging around with him, just keep an eye on him, which they are, to be fair. But it'd be nice if they had actually formed real a real friendship with them. I guess I just felt like the, the only way to make the hurting... Fuck, dude. ...was to make the people who hurt me... You have to take back their power to make you hurt. No, Jess... Jess is just wise words. She's had some cringe words this season, but she's had majority of wise words. She was saying that for herself as well. She's like, that was good. <laughs> Not a good scene. Two good scenes. I'm going to count them up because they're going to be few and far between. <laughs> Right, so not Tyler. So who do we move on to now? Shall we accuse Tony? I think we should accuse Tony next and have a whole episode of stalking him and seeing if he did it. What are you doing here? Shut up. Um, it's a First meeting of hands off our body. Hey. <laughs> Tyler. She's from Scream as well. I've just realised. She's still just as annoying as she was in Scream. Stay out of the jerk to watch him bleed! <laughs> yeah, dude! It's like, shut up. We think we should protest Bryce's funeral this weekend. It's genius, right? I don't know because... Just shut up. We have to go big or go home, Jess. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. Oh, go in in the room how we should be running out oh you have no clue what he's been through just shut up no, no, like no, it's good. I hate her I genuinely hate her S actual scum <laughs> just think she knows everything I just fucking pipe down twat what about Tyler you should keep your mo voice down a little bit, like the shouting. I see Justin with him all the time. Shut up, Monty. Zach's fucking him. Oh, finally, someone punched him. Oh, God, I'm on fire, of course. Don't, why are you gonna go snoop? This is just like the perfect. Oh, now it's the scene where Clay snoops around Tyler's room. And why even get caught doing it? Why is there bird poo on his MacBook? He's gonna open it and see the pictures of Bryce's head being shot. Right, there's just Bryce's head. Yup. There they are. How would he have those photos, to be fair? To be that doesn't prove he killed him. He could have just come across the body. Oh, great. <laughs> so, we'll go from those pictures to an awkward dinner scene. That sounds good. Just so awful to think that a kid could do something like this. Okay, well it was your own. Do they know uh, Bryce was murdered? They're about you. Cool. <laughs> it's the same one. Maybe if I'd said the wrong thing. Would you have? have shot me? I think you probably would have, maybe. I don't know. I guess we'd like to think not, but <laughs> Remember when I said maybe Tyler was finishing what he started? Yeah, oh yeah, I remember that. How can I forget? Thanks for reminding me. Listen. Stab you? In my house? <laughs> I don't know. Why are we all... Oh, just... Come on, everyone chill out. Take care of it. Say it. Because five minutes ago you were accusing Jessica of Justin, so... Here we go. Here's the explanation. I kept the gun because I thought I might have to use it. And they could just get a report of what the what bullet killed Bryce, maybe. What if they know that? Maybe there'd be a shell casing. I don't know why they made out he was pointing that at Clay. Had always been a suicide mission. 
Oh, Jesus. Fuck, dude. Ooh! Was he actually gonna... I want an apology. Is he actually gonna talk to this guy? Fuck. And Taylor and Kenneth. Yeah? This guy. He needs... Oh, he needs more of a consequence than him having to say sorry. He told you to do it? Did he actually? And he's gone, right? Jesus, Tyler. Oh! Mud. Mud. About Monty, did you know? What, what, Jesus, Tyler, what did he do? Did Bri I want to know if Bryce actually did give the go-ahead for that. Monty did a bunch, and I'm not going to. Why? Why wouldn't you? That's true, why? Did you hate me? Aren't you here to hurt me now? <laughs> Fuck, dude. So do it, man. I do. I'm curious if Bryce actually did know. No. So yeah, Tyler did confront Bryce. Nice, another good scene. We're on three. I think we're on about four actually good scenes. And funnily enough, all four of those scenes are a Tyler scene. I'm the one who called the police and told them where he was. Yep, there you go. Told the police. There's the reason. Because I knew how it would look. No one really believed that I could change. Oh, Tyler, dude. Fuck. But I do. You didn't today. Not yeah. Either. I mean, yeah, fair. For a long time. Because I didn't need it anymore. Okay. It hasn't been fired. I've, I've kept it over a year, and it hasn't been fired. You can tell. That was a great scene. That was a really good scene. Yeah. Oh, is this what was in the backpack then? Because we all thought it was a fucking pistol. Or is it? I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. What is it? An exact VX camera. What? Like in Rear Window. Oh! That cool, remember? This one. <laughs> he got it for him! Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, oh, fair play, fair play. Great, really good, best scene of the whole show so far, I'm gonna say. Can I hug you? No! Oh, yeah, I guess. If they're trying to, like, go down a path of us wanting to ship these two as well, no, is the answer to that. A bike. You bought her a bike. You've known her for about a month and you bought her a bike. You... My old bicycle. Oh. Never mind. Oh. I'm gonna let it slide. Tony and I will get rid of the gun. Because we just believe him. We believed you. <laughs> right. So where's Alex? There's a hole in the back of his head. And so the papers get Wait, what? The shot, they were wrong it saying he was beaten. He's... Wait, what? He was beaten? To see what? I don't want to know about it. He, Not anymore. You've, yeah, you've said this. Hey, Zach, you're pissing me off. I want to like you. Because one is Ross Butler and two, he was actually alright in seasons one and two. But this season so far... I love how we find this out after we've, you know, cleared Tyler of using the gun. Oh, it wasn't a gun. We were just studying for a Spanish test. Boring. You don't really promise that, because if someone just walks up and shoots you in the air, then you break your promise. It can make that past impossible to escape. Shut up. And there's no going back. Okay. Okie dokie. Maybe it's Alex, and because I don't know why she would have said that, and then the zooms right in on Alex. You know what to do. I'm going either Zach, because he seems so distant from everything. Alex, because she the narrator just said, oh maybe someone you haven't suspected, and then it zoomed right in on him. Uh, or not Clay, definitely not Clay, or the new girl. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Hannah's mum 
but she's not even in the show anymore, so like it'd just be one of those where like, oh, it's Hannah's mom, and then she's like, she'll appear or something. So maybe Hannah's mom. Um, we know it's not Justin. Yeah, the, the the only characters we know it definitely is not is Justin, Tyler, and Jessica, and I feel like Clay is way too obvious, and. I feel like the new girl would be very underwhelming. So I'm going to write those two off as well. So Alex, Zach, Hannah's mum, maybe Bryce's mum. I feel like maybe that's a bit obvious as well. I mean, it'd be kind of fucked up, but maybe Montgomery. But again, that wouldn't really make sense. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there we go, guys. That is episode four of 13 Reasons Why season three definitely the best episode of the season so far i thought the first half was very boring yeah the first half was actually trash really bad but i thought that, i thought it was going to be the worst episode of the season and then as soon as we hit the halfway point and it was kind of focusing way more on tyler as soon as it just focused on tyler every time it did it was great actor was killing it and all his scenes were actually had emotion behind them and they worked very well like him just kind of talking to jessica and her having that conversation with him about you know, his motive behind what he was going to do at the end of season two. His one-on-one -on -one talk with Clay, which is probably my favourite scene of the sh of the season so far. Definitely. That was really good in the fact that he, like, bought um, Clay the camera from Rear Window. Just so, you know, be like, oh, I'm, like, grateful that you've actually changed me uh, for the past, like, the last eight months and stuff. So I thought that, that was really well done. That was definitely my favourite scene, like I said. Uh, him confronting Bryce with the gun was great, <laughs> another really good team. Uh, him taking out his anger on the boxing bag, him in the room with Jessica and that stupid idiot turned around and was like, hey, you're an ally, so shut up, me, 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 and just piping off, piping off and not, not actually knowing anything about Tyler and assuming he hasn't gone through anything, just being a complete idiot. <laughs> uh, another really well done scene. Basically every single scene with Tyler was great. As soon as it got away from him, awful. Very, very boring episode. As soon as it focused on the new character and her narration again, as I said with episodes one, two, and three, it was genuinely just boring to watch, as well as their like little story with her and Clay. And the reason I hated the first half of the episode, or I didn't hate the first half of the episode, but I didn't enjoy that much of the, of the first half of this episode was because it was very much Clay and the new girl. Now, now they've cleared Jessica and, Jessica and Justin's name in episode three, they're just focusing all their attention onto Tyler, and I was like, Tyler's the one who killed Bryce, woo, woo, woo. and then they're just going to go after it. Uh, even though we know as an audience, it is definitely not Tyler, because why would they reveal the killer of Bryce in episode four? So yeah, that just didn't really make sense, and there was obviously going to be a reasoning behind everything that he was saying, like the pictures and the gun, and what was in his bag. Like the whole what was in his bag was so dumb, because it, it's just like we've seen enough TV to know that he doesn't have the gun in his bag. Because the whole time, like, Clay, and they were just all shitting themselves at the back, like, oh my god, he has a gun in his bag, he's going to shoot up the school again. And we're just like, no, he's not. And it was so annoying watching the characters just fumble around, trying to figure out what was in the bag. I don't really get why Tyler didn't just tell them, because I swear they confronted him at a point, being like, what's in the bag, and he just didn't really want to show. And I guess, yeah, he wanted, he wanted to give Clay the present, maybe in private, but it did feel a bit like going to extremes to not say what was in the bag. But yeah, what really held this episode up was the actor who plays Tyler and majority of his scenes in this episode. Everything else was very dull though. I didn't care for anything else, to be fair. Again, the story is just kind of... The actual story is plodding along. If you take away Tyler's story, which is the, the best by far, everything else is very slow. It's like now we learn about Bryce's... In this episode, all the main story was with Bryce was that we learned that he wasn't shot, that it was actually... He was bludgeoned to death. So we know that now, but it's like we had, this episode was an hour long and that's what we learned. And oh, and you cleared Tyler's name, I guess. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably give this episode a, I'll go seven out of 10. I think it was the best so far. Still not great. Definitely still not like great or anything because I think the episodes are way too long and the narration continues to bring it down, which again, I'll continue to say the scenes were very well done. It's with Tyler this episode. So I'll go seven out of 10 for this one. Best of the season so far, um, but still, still not insanely great or anything like that so i wonder who we're going to going to accuse in episode five and then stalk them for the whole time jesus all right thanks for watching though guys leave a like if you enjoyed let me know thought of episode four down below in the comments if you want uncut reactions a link to the patreon page will be down below as well as the new channel so make sure to check that out for like uh, stream highlights from twitch 
and I'll see you. I'll, I'll definitely get episode five up today. So until then.